And wall insulation, um, the first sort of question is external or internal. Um, external um, is typically more efficient. So external, um, if, you, if you think back of that, sort of wrapping around a continuous layer of insulation, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a more efficient um, way of reducing heat loss. Um, typically, what you're looking at is sort of, um, yeah, between 150 and 200 mils of insulation that is then finished with um, um, a, a external render typically, but you can also finish that off um, in timber cladding or sort of brick slip. Um, whether you can do external um, wall insulation will also depend on the um, on your area and if your your building is listed, for example, or sort of in an historic area in that context, or per perhaps you even want to um, to sort of preserve the the look. If you have a, a a brick or sandstone finished home, then the next best thing to consider really is internal wall insulation. Um, internal wall insulation is suitable for more, for most homes. Um, it is typically applied in, in f thinner layers, so to speak. So um, whereas external insula insulation can be as thick as 200 millimeters with internal insulation, you're, you're probably in most cases below 100 millimeters. Um, again, you finish that with a plaster um, and that can, can help to improve the U values. So target U values, I've just mentioned um, very briefly in, in the bottom. Um, that is something that you want to discuss with your retrofit coordinator or your builder or your architect that you employ. Um, typically, what you should be aiming to um, achieve in the external walls is somewhere between, between 0.15 and, and 0.2 um, in terms of U value. And um, that will ensure that sort of your, your fit for sort of future home standards and you don't have to do works twice. So you, what you don't want to do is to aim for too low and, and only apply say 100 mil external insulation and risk having to do the whole process again in, in 20, 20 odd years or so. Um, moving on to um, briefly talk about cavity insulation. So most homes will uh, will now have had some some sort of cavity insulation that is typically um, blown um, either fiber or um, sort of beads. So you get um, you get um, a, um, a builder in or a contractor that typically inserts that between the internal wall leaf and the external wall leaf. Um, some of the problems um, you can see on this um, slide as well is if the um, internal wall cavity hasn't been cleaned. So if you've got mortar droppings, you have perhaps wall ties, those can restrict the even spread of that insulation in your wall. So sometimes you get, you get pockets where the wall isn't insulated. So you, depending on the type of material that was used, you sometimes get slump. So the insulation material just um, um, grad gradually settles over time and sort of opens up other areas where you might get heat loss again. Um, a thing to mention is even even um, very well done um, cavity wall insulation or topped up cavity wall insulation will probably need additional insulation to get you towards that net zero carbon home that we've already mentioned. So that drive to very efficient homes, um, cavity wall insulation will not be enough to, to, to achieve that. So you will have to have additional either external wall insulation or internal wall insulation.